see my leg. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's been a while and I don't know if you've been able to keep up with me on other social media, but I'm here now to tell you where I've been. I got hit by a car and it went right over my leg and snap, broken. It was a very traumatic experience. I am just gonna tell you what happened, tell you the story. It's been pretty traumatizing. So this is where I've been. I have not abandoned this channel. I've been on my vlogging channel and I've been on all my other social media and stuff. I'm still here, I am alive and I am gonna keep YouTubing. I've just had to have this little break while I dealt with this. I'm currently at my parents' house. I went back to stay with them because uh, I couldn't walk up all the flights of stairs back at the meme mansion. This is the first time I've been able to like wear makeup and wash since the accident, so I'm feeling pretty good and yeah, I feel strong, ready to film a video. Okay, so I went to San Francisco on the 20th of November and we had a really amazing trip and you can watch the vlog there. I got to like dub over some characters in Finding Dory and stuff. It was really fun, an amazing time. And it's really funny when I watch these vlogs now because I'm walking in them and I literally can't walk now. I'm having to learn to walk again. So yeah, you can watch that if you guys want. But I got back on the 25th of November and me and Becky said goodbye to each other. We got in our like Addison Lee taxis back to our flats. And I get to my flat and Luke and Ellen are there and I say hi and then I realize, oh, I haven't got any prescription medication. So I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna nip down to the pharmacy and pick up my prescription. And I very nearly did not bring my phone. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna leave my phone and let it charge. And then at the last second I was like, actually I am gonna bring my phone so I'll listen to some music. So I'm literally a minute outside the flat crossing the road to where like the pharmacy and chicken shop and whatever are. Okay, so I look to my right and there's this black car coming. And I look to my left and there's nothing there. We're on like a junction, so it would be a turning. And then I look back and this black car, the guy in it, gestures me across. So I'm like, cool, start stepping across the road. And I reach the middle of the road and oh my God, this car just whacks me in my pelvis. And I'm like, oh my God, I've been hit by a car. And then in my mind, I was like, this car is still coming. This car is still driving. And I honestly don't think they realized they'd even hit me until they had run me over. So what I did was I realized this car was still coming and I pushed myself as far off the bonnet as I possibly could. And then I just watched as this car ran right over my leg. I watched the wheel go over my leg and I didn't feel a thing. I felt absolutely nothing. I just watched it and I knew, I was like, this leg is broken. There's a hundred percent this leg is broken. I didn't go into shock. The nurses are amazed. They said it was incredible um, how well I handled the situation. I knew I only had about 15 minutes before like the adrenaline stopped and I started to feel pain again. So school had just ended. So I saw a bunch of these like lovely girls across the side of the road and I just called them over. I said, I need your help right now. Come and come over here. So immediately I was like, my phone is on the floor, it's unlocked, call 999, tell them we're blah blah blah, I told them the address, tell them I have Addison's disease, tell them my leg is broken and a car ran over it, but that um, I'm still awake, but that I cannot move, I like absolutely cannot move. I couldn't, <laughs> I really couldn't move. Like, you know how they say when you break your leg, it's like your whole body just freezes up. I could not for the life of me move that leg. And then, oh, then it gets really bad. So suddenly I realize one of these people around me is screaming at me, like really screaming at me, they're shouting. And I hate swearing in videos, but she was like, you stupid, like fucking bitch. You scared my children. You gave them a heart attack. What the hell is wrong with you? And I suddenly realized this woman screaming at me is the woman who hit me with her car. <laughs> um, so obviously, that was pretty traumatic. But I was like, I don't have time for this. Like, I'm in a really bad way. I've just got to get to the hospital. So I just, like, waved her off and was like, I can't deal with this right now. I have to get to a hospital. So these incredible girls, they were, like, absolutely amazing. They called the ambulance and I was like, um, my flatmates actually live. And I told them where they lived. And they went up and got my flatmates for me. And then it gets even more silly. So <laughs> apparently these girls arrive at my flat and Ellen answers the door and they're like, hey, um, does Connie live here with like pink hair? And Ellen being like clever thought that some like fans had found my house. So Ellen was just like, yeah, no, Connie doesn't live here. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> and sent them away. 
And then um, I'm like talking to the police and I'm like, I really want my housemates here with me. Like, I can't do this. Yes, yeah, I was on my way to go see Evan and Dodie. We were gonna go shopping. So Evan has no idea where I am. He thinks I just like have abandoned him. But I really wanted my housemates with me. But I also didn't want anyone to post anything about it online. And then the police someone's like, okay, let me call her. So she, I hand her my phone and she like calls Ellen. And the police woman is like, hey, are you friends with Connie? I've got Connie here. And Ellen's like, can you please put Connie on the phone for me? And Ellen says all she can hear in the background is just me screaming. And I'm just like screaming in agony. And Ellen thinks I'm being kidnapped. <laughs> um, and eventually, finally, someone just says, oh, she's been hit by a car. She's just outside your flat. And then finally, Luke and Ellen showed up, these like little angels. I was like, oh! But we still weren't posting about it anywhere. And we didn't want to tell Evan until he got back. We didn't want him to like freak out and we just wanted him to like enjoy his day and then I did start to like get really shaky um, So the paramedics like okay, we need to straighten your leg out I grab his arm <laughs> as he starts to do it and I'm like I am nowhere near high enough for you to do this yet The pain is just gonna be too much. He's like, okay, so then the ambulance arrives And they had to cut off my clothes so my, I was wearing my favorite leggings and I remember I just hear Ellen go, oh, she'll get over it. <laughs> and I looked down and they're cutting off my leggings and my tights and I just screamed like, these leggings are limited edition. <laughs> I was so upset and um, Becky's gonna try to sew them up for me But at this point like everything was just hilarious to me I just couldn't believe it had happened and like the pain was so much that it was funny because I was like How can something hurt this much? It's just silly. So finally I held my arms out in the middle of the street and was like just fill me up with every drug you have and like fill me up with my medication just inject it into my veins just go so they're all like oh this might be a sharp pinch while they're like putting the cannula in I'm like just do it <laughs> and then they gave me this gas and air and I'm just there like <gasps> like lying on the floor naked I had like blankets around me but they have to like strip you completely in case your pelvis is broken and I kept on saying, I don't think my pelvis is broken. I'm, I'm sure it's just my leg. Like all the pain is just down in my leg. Um, but they have to check because if you shattered your pelvis, that's like super dangerous. So finally they're like, are you ready? And I'm like, yes, go. This is the most pain I've ever been in in my life. When they stretched my leg out on the street to get me onto the ambulance, I was so high, but even no matter how high I was on all this pain medication, nothing nothing is as painful as that was. That was like another level of pain. But yes, they did it. They straightened my leg out and honestly, it felt so much better after it was straightened out because I was just like sitting floppy on the street. And off I go in my ambulance and Ellen comes with me. Okay, so <laughs> next part of the story. <laughs> this is when it gets so silly. But finally, after they've like given me all this pain meds and I'm sitting in the bed and I'm finally getting comfortable and this nurse comes over to do my x-rays and I have to stress she was so lovely and she was such a good nurse and I'm sure she's never done this before but she tripped over my heart rate monitor <laughs> and decided to grab my leg for support <laughs> And I just remember this like searing pain down my leg and I burst out laughing and was just like Am I on a comedy show? Like, is there a candid camera here somewhere? Like, this is too silly. Like, you've just grabbed my broken leg. But it was fine. It was fine. And they gave me so much morphine and so much codeine and I was just like elated. I was so happy. Even when I was on the ambulance on the way back and some of my like neighborhood had like come out to say hi and I was just waving them like, I'm so high. So yeah, they took the x-rays and I had a very clean break slice right through my tibia and I immediately was taken to a doctor surgeon guy and he was like do we have permission to perform surgery as soon as possible to put a metal rod in your leg instead of doing a cast so I was like yes absolutely so basically the difference between having a cast and a metal rod a metal rod means that you can basically start walking immediately and start practicing walking and it holds the whole bone in place while it's healing whereas a cast you can't move you just have to keep it up um, and there's also the small possibility that the bone will like move and it won't heal properly so it's like let's do it let's do surgery but then I had to wait in hospital for four days while they found time to do surgery because the hospital it was just really bad timing went into a code black which means that um they can't take any more patients in because they just have they have no beds free so i was just waiting in this hospital and 
and everyone came to visit me and it was so lovely and even though I was in terrible pain the whole time the hospital food was really good and I had so many friends come and see me and I had morphine whenever I needed it so <laughs> it was all actually totally okay it's really hard to hold the camera up <laughs> <laughs> so weak. Okay. Hello. I'm in the hospital bed. I've broken my leg in two places. And Charlie and Ellen are here. Hello. And they bought me Starbucks. I can't. I'm like so weak. I can't even this up. I've discovered this thing called morphine. It's a really good friend of mine now. But yeah, you can see my cast. There it is. Hello. Look, I can wiggle my toes. The best thing about being in a hospital is you get congratulated for things like being able to wiggle your toes. They're all so proud of me. It makes me feel really good about myself. So yes, this is me in a hospital. Good job. <laughs> like, just for a second. Just give me that sweet lifted leg relief. Just, oh yeah. I honestly, it's like, oh, I just feel so good. I did also just have some more things. This is like, this is like everything. Just, yeah, just 10 seconds of this. You're an angel. I know. I love you. I can't, like, why does this feel so good? I think it must just be like all the pressure goes off it. I think it's just amazing how much you would normally make your leg. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're probably just sort of, what is it? It's like your blood just it's starts. so good. Uh, I have everyone coming because it's been Hyper Japan. So, like, the whole gang is about to show up and it's going to be complete chaos. <laughs> Great. Oh, and I haven't even had my codeine yet, so I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> Hello, look who's here. It's everyone. Becky and Kelsey and Sophie and what's your name? Nick. <laughs> Nick. Hi, nice to meet you for the first time ever. She went came over with all this chocolate and Elle and Charlie have been here like all day as well. Oh, that's so good. Um, yes, thanks guys. I definitely need a distraction from the searing pain in my leg. Oh my God. So are they having to reset it? Uh, yeah, they're putting a metal rod in it. Honestly, when you guys walked in then, I was like, alright, this blood thinning stuff has gone too far, like, I've gone crazy. You guys look so cute, though. <laughs> you could go down to the children's ward and, like, entertain everyone. <laughs> look, I have another guest. For the first time, I've actually got makeup on. I have on so things. many friends, it turns out. Oh, you do. <laughs> You've got at least three. At least cute, three. three. There's three more than I've got, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, you guys have really cheered me up. Tell them about your and my amazing, thing. my amazing. Oh yeah, do you guys want to see? Mm -hmm. I've ordered this every single time. Mushy peas. Yeah, it's really good. It's just like fish and potatoes and carrots and cheese sauce. It's very um, smelly. Um, yeah, it's totally not your thing, Miss Vegan. Yeah. Yeah. He was like disgusting. Oh, yeah, I'm disgusting. How you? you deserve to be in here. <laughs> Punch you in the leg. Right. Oh, please don't. I won't. Right, right. thanks guys. One of my favourite things from the whole time I was in the hospital is Dodie and Evan came to visit one day and they happened to do my like monitoring while they were there and the nurse is like, why is your heart rate so high? Like, why has your pulse gone up so much? And I'm literally just there like, it's because Dodie and Evan are here. <laughs> it's just so excited to have them there. There you go. <laughs> Hello Connie, what's happening? I'm getting my blood pressure taken. Fun. Hopefully it's going to be uh, wonderful. Oh yeah. It'll be yep. bloody perfect. No. Everyone loves you. You did, yeah. yeah. You did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate. You get a lot of friends attention. when you get hit by a car. She, she bribed the person, that's why she told us to her. I have a cannula in my arm, this feels so weird. What's a cannula? It's like a, like a tube that just stays in your vein. So if they, if they suddenly need to like put something in your body, they can just do it. Yeah, look, you can have a look. No, no, that's fine. Little, little thing, zoom. I'm trying to focus. Mm. Oh gosh, you should put all kinds of trigger warnings on this video. <laughs> 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 just don't watch it if you're squeamish. What's the blood? Thank you so much. Well, while you were getting hit, oh, I got this excited. sick ass oh. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Babe. Because I've got my friends here. Oh. It's nice to have your friends. Yeah, it's nice to have your friends. <laughs> 
Yeah. Alright. Alright, they're off and I am having surgery tomorrow. I just found out it's hundred percent happening. So bye guys. Bye. Bye, bye forever. Bye. Can I have your channel? Can you stop saying bye forever, please? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can have my brand. You can have my impression. Super and impression. Stuff. Okay. You. And you gotta dye your hair pink. Oh, that's great. I'm into that. Alright. Wish me luck. Bye. You can do it. It'll be fun. <laughs> Hello, good morning everyone. I'm very, very tired. I slept really well last night. Um, I'm about to go into surgery. I'm like the first one on the list this morning. Um, so yeah, I'll see you on the other side. It's way earlier than I thought it was going to be. So um, that's good news. That's good news. <laughs> Ta -da. This is a big, that's not a bruise. I, I can't feel it. I have to keep checking it's still there. <laughs> there it is. That's the leg. <laughs> but I've got Pua. And Ellen. There's me. Yes. Of everything I could need. And I have a metal pole in my leg. Yeah. I'm so excited. That's all the news. So let me tell you about surgery, because I've never had surgery before in my life. It was pretty fun. So the person who I have to thank for like really chilling me out about surgery was Dodie. Um, she totally said all the right things to me to make me feel like really calm about it. She said it was like just like not existing for a few hours. So they just like cut out a little bit of your life and then you wake up and it's done. And it was so exactly like that. And it was very relaxing going into it. I was just like, ah. And then the next thing I knew I woke up and I had a metal pole in my leg. It was great. So I spent a whole week in the hospital, an entire week. It was really hard on the last day, because um, I thought I was gonna be able to walk as soon as they did the surgery. They were kind of hoping I would be able to walk that day. So I had the physiotherapist come over, and the first time she worked with me, it was not good. Um, and I ended up just like crying <laughs> the whole day, because I thought, I'm never gonna be able to walk again. Yeah. But then the next day was amazing and I made so much progress and I even walked up a flight of stairs and they let me go home. So I am back home. The lighting's getting all weird as I film this. So really I just wanted to make this video interspersed with some clips from the hospital just to kind of show you guys that I'm okay and I'm still here even after breaking my leg. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. I'm just working on learning to walk again and I'm doing Vlogmas over on my vlogging channel so you guys can like keep up to date and I'm hoping it's gonna be like really interesting and by the end of Vlogmas at Christmas, I'm gonna be walking again hopefully and it'll be really cool to see that progress. That'll be nice. Thank you again everyone for all of your get wells and good wishes and I'm just really glad I'm alive <laughs> more than anything. That's it. That's um, the story of how I broke my leg and where I've been and hopefully I'm gonna be back to normal in like some time. I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna be walking again but I'll be making videos and stuff shortly. Really can't thank you all enough for how supportive you've been. I don't think I could have been as positive and happy about this whole situation if not for you guys. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Okay, Mwah. bye.